Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley. Today I'm going to share with you everything that I have in my purse. And I'm sad to say that I've already done this video once and I didn't have it right. So I'm refilming it. So my purse is currently empty. But I was using this purse that I got at like TJ Maxx and had it for way too long. And I've actually only been using it for about a week just because... I'm, I hate how they're, you can't close it. It's like an open bag and let's be real, when I'm driving and I'm slamming on my brake or something and my purse goes flying, I don't wanna have to worry about it spilling. And that's what this one does. So I'm already switching it out. But since it's already empty, I'll still share with you what was in it, all the good and bad. And there's, it really was pretty clean. Like I said, I've only been using it for about a week. But anyways, I thought I would share with you. These are one of my favorite videos to watch. And I just love to see what people carry around and have to have on them. So let's just get started. The first thing that was in my bag, of course, that's my makeup bag. I have everything under the sun in here. Lips, face, brushes, mascara, gloss, perfume, everything in here. And I just, these are, I just change this out as I need. So I do have that in here. A couple receipts that I need to, I mean, a lot of them. I have some hand sanitizer. This is just the one I'm currently using by Miss Myers, the lavender scent. Actually smells so good. Doesn't have like an alcoholic smell, alcoholic smell, which I love. So definitely would recommend this. These are on the more pricier side than just the normal hand sanitizer. So I don't know if I'll continue it, continually buy this, but I do like this one. So it is one that I probably would repurchase if I wanted to be a little more spendy on my hand sanitizer. Then I have my inhaler, which I don't really use very often. It's more for if I get short of breath or I notice I'm just out of breath. Speaking of which, I went on a hike on Memorial Day and I hadn't hiked since I've been better and I was like dying, like could not, I didn't realize how bad I could not breathe and I didn't even use this. So that was not very smart of me, but I have that for in case of. I do keep a couple pens in my bag because who doesn't need pens when they're out and about? I also have my doTERRA oil, miniature oil thingy that I love. I keep seven oils in here, but I really only use one, but maybe three. I love Digest Zen. I get really bad stomach issues, um, and I never know when they're going to hit. So it's nice to have that on me because I can just rub it on my belly and I'm good to go. And then there's peppermint, which I like for headaches or bad breath. And then there's lavender just for calming. The other ones are in here for like just in case of, but I like to make sure I have this just for, you never know, right? You never know. So I'll stay on the medicine train. I also keep my Tylenol and ibuprofen. This was an old Tylenol bottle. I just took the label off so I would know which one's which. I also always keep Dremamine on me because I get really bad car sick. I had um, really bad sickness with one of my pregnancies and she's now 13 and I am still so scared to ever be in that situation again. Just so you know, it took us like four hours or six hours. Now I can't even remember. It was like four hours at least to drive 45 minutes when I was pregnant with her because I was so nauseous and sick. I could, the movement of the car and I would, ugh. I, I have to have this. Not that I use it very often anymore, but I can never be like that again. That was horrible. I also have a glass nail file. I've never actually had to use this specific one, but I do like these glass ones. I got these on Amazon. They work really, really nice. I got this off of a recommendation from someone on YouTube, and I'm very pleasantly surprised. I don't know how long they will last, like the normal nail files, you know, that you can buy in bulk. I don't, you know, don't last too long. I don't know how long these will last, but so far I'm really impressed 
with them. They definitely shape and fix your nails really nicely. All right, what else? I have my checkbook that I always carry that I never use. I have my little Budley. It holds my earphones and keeps them from getting tangled, which I love. And then I also have another pair of wired earphones because who does not like, because who wants to be out and about and not have earphones? I mean, if I'm stuck waiting for something or sitting in my car, my kids are watching a movie or whatever, I wanna be able to listen to whatever I need to. And I just prefer wired headphones because they never die. So I can leave them in my purse indefinitely and I know they will always be there and be able to work. So, but of course, in case one of my kids takes one, I have to have a backup and they get in trouble if they touch either one. But this way, if they do, I still have at least one in my purse, but they know these are mine. And then I just saw the other day that look what they did. They drew on my thing. <sighs> Nothing of mine is ever nice. They just ruin everything. And I don't even know which one it is. Another thing I have in here loose is a chapstick. This is one of those Buxom Power Plump. What's that? I never remember. Power Plump Lip Balm. This is in the color Flush. It looks very dark, but it's actually very light. This one I like better than that red one that I've showed a few times on here. This one gives like such a good flush of color. Look how pretty that is. I think it's pretty. Very easy to wear. Not like that red one. That red one is a little bit harder to wear. This one. I have three or four of them. And the red one that I've showed a few times is not my favorite. This one and another one are for sure my favorite. And I think I have a fourth one, but I could be wrong. Doesn't matter. Kleenex, who does any Kleenex? Nail clippers, these are also kind of like earphones. I cannot go anywhere. I think I have two pairs in my car. I believe I even have a pair in my makeup bag, but definitely another pair in the purse itself because who does who wants to be out and have a snag nail? I know like husbands and boyfriends and spouses and people that don't carry a purse think it's so weird that we carry around all this stuff, but who's the first one they come to when they have a snaggled nail? That's all I'm going to say. So, I also have my keys. I just have a key fob that I just throw it in my purse, so I just Make sure my purse is with me wherever I go and I, my car will work. So that's how that works. Then my new thing I have, it's not new, but it's a new concept. I usually use a wallet, but I had started using just a little pouch there in this purse that I had, has a pouch that's hooked to it. And I started putting my cash and cards and driver's license and change or whatever's in there. Yeah, there's change. <laughs> I never have cash. This is weird to have cash and change. Um, but I keep that in this and I got rid of my wallet and I like this so much easier because I am so terrible about putting my cards back in my wallet. I'll just throw them back in my purse. Hence this card that needs to go in here. So I just found that I can just throw it in here and it's all there. I know where it's at instead of throwing them all around in my purse and then Every so often have to go through my purse to find my cards to put them back inside my wallet. This just works so much easier for me. Plus it's small enough that I can take it out easily if I just wanna grab my, my wallet part and go. So I really like this concept. I'm really glad that I switched to this because it just works so much better. Let's see what else. I have my car charger that I always keep. Again, these are almost like the earphones. I have one in my car, one in my purse. Even though usually if I'm going to charge my my phone, it'll be in my car with that cord. But I have children, and if you have children, especially older children and teenage children, they take everything. I don't know how many times I've gone in my car to charge, and I'm out. My phone is dying. I go to charge my car, and my cord is not there. And it gets me mad. So I keep an extra in my purse all the time again. So if the kids or the husband take it, I have a backup. 
So I rarely, rarely use this one. It's always the one in my car, but I can, just in case. I do keep, um, I do keep eye drops in my car, in my car. <laughs> I do keep eye drops in my purse. I have never used them. I do love eye drops. These are just more for if I'm out and I get something in my eye or my eye itches. But again, I've never had to use it, but I like knowing that it's there, especially with my older kids who now aren't afraid of eye drops. They could use it if they needed it, if they got, I got itchy or allergies or anything. Because if I get around a cat, my eyes get very itchy and I need something to help clean them out. And that helps pretty well. I haven't used this kind yet. But it says it relieves red, dry, itchy, gritty, irritated, burning, watery eyes. So I'm sure it will work fine. I have two more things that were in my purse. I have this little doodad. I got this last fall when I went on a plane ride and I wanted something to set my phone on because I figured I would put it on the tray and watch. <laughs> I didn't use it at all, but I love it. I've, I've, I've never used it actually. So who knows if I really like it. I like the idea of it. I keep this in my purse in case I'm ever somewhere and want to prop my phone and watch it, which obviously has never happened in nine months. So I don't know if this is a necessity, but I do like having it in my car, in my in my purse. I like it. I just think it, it makes me feel better. And last and probably most important is this little bag. And this has all of my gum, my heart candies, my whatever I have, Pez, whatever I have that I want to snack on or throw in my mouth if I'm hungry and we're not home or my kids know they can come in here and get something. I, I always have something like this. And it looks like I'm out of gum, so I need to add gum to this. But I like being able to carry hard candy. My kids are old enough where I don't need necessarily snacks when we're out, but who doesn't love to throw a hard candy in your mouth when you're shopping or whatever, wherever you're at. So I like having that. I know my kids enjoy that I have this, so this is a great thing. And that is everything in my purse. I have pulled it all out so that I could put it in a new purse and get rid of this one because I can't stand it right now. So that is what I have in my purse. What do you guys have in your purse that I'm missing? Because I, you never know what you're going to need. And I always like, I like having everything. I don't know. I don't mind carrying around a big, large purse. Small purses just don't work for me like they used to. And I don't know if I'm, I'm not in obviously the diaper bag stage anymore, but I think I still like having the access to everything that I need or my older kids might need. And luckily it's not lugging around a lot, but it's a lot for I'm sure some people. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video.